welcome to Breaking News with me, Amelia Crimble. And me, Susan. Well, we've got a great lineup today. A little later on, we'll be joining Felicia Wallace Dixon Holmes on the bed with a very special guest. Mm. And join us as we take a trip out into the field, rediscovering English heritage with History Times. Wow, History <laughs> Times. <laughs> and if you're feeling angry, don't punch a kitten. Just join us as we join Dr. Greg and his inspirational anger management classes. Quite. But first, let's take a look at the headline, shall we? What have we got today? <laughs> hey. That's somewhat unprecedented. It seems there are no headlines today, just a big picture of Liz Hurley wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But you know what? We're not without celebrations in the studio because... Why is that, Susan? At this time of year, every year, a very special friend and person and colleague joins me on her very own birthday. Oh, Susan. That's right. How embarrassing. Today <laughs> is Amelia Crimble's birthday. Oh, Susan, you shouldn't have brought that up. Yeah. Happy birthday, Amelia. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. <laughs> the present that I got you is still holding strong. Um, but also, um, a viewer sent something What's in this? this. I don't know. Wow, <laughs> I love gifts. What is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh, a letter. A letter. <laughs> From my fan. <clears throat> Dear Amelia Crimble, mm. I'm your number one fan. <laughs> well, you can't all be. <laughs> With this in mind, I've knitted you a celebratory gift. Mm. I hope you enjoy it. Mm. Yours, Samantha Mumba. Oh, so that's what she's doing now. <laughs> Let's <laughs> take a look. <laughs> no Samantha Mumba could knit. <laughs> no. Hidden no. talent. Well, haven't we all? <laughs> if you've got a hidden talent, please do ring into the show or call and text us on 2233367. And the number below the screen. Troy bear with free scarf. Oh, um, well, that's fabulous. It's lovely. Isn't that nice? Actually, I've got some great gifts this year. Oh, really? Leslie Mickles, who does Nature Watch. Leslie? Yes. <laughs> Troy Gave bear. me this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Susan. I didn't mean to scare you. Leslie got this on yeah. his travels abroad. Oh, oh she is a one. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Leslie. <laughs> Love from Troy Bear. <laughs> but should we move on to our yes, first feature? Yes, let's get on with it. Um, as we join Felicia Wallace Dixon Holmes on the bed. On the bed. <laughs> on the bed with me, Felicia Wallace Dixon Holmes. Uh, good morning, viewers, and welcome to the bed with me, Felicia. Every week, I will have uh, a local celebrity, upstanding member of society, or uh, local heroes avec moi ici on the bed. Uh, this week I have Mr. Colin Braithwaite. So, Colin, what is it that you actually do? I I work at the local job centre plus freelance. Fabulous. So, what is it that you do there? I uh, I work from home, looking for jobs, that kind of thing. <gasps> wow, that's so happening. Yeah, I um. I do job searches online, I, I write down everything I'm doing in a little booklet, I send off CVs, wait for replies. Right, sure. Every two weeks I report to the local centre, the hours are flexible and uh, they pay me once a fortnight. Cool, cool, yeah. And there's training programmes and uh, back to work sessions that kind of thing it's it's really great to got also they've got machines uh, touch screen machines and you go and touch the screen and they print you a long long piece of paper wow that sounds like a super efficient system so if you're like colin and you want to take this kind of vacation if a uh, vacation, sure could vacation, then just pop into one of these nifty little job centres, and they should be able to help you out. But for now, that's it from me. And a special thank you to Colin, and um, we, uh, join me uh, next next week on the bed. Uh, you see, avec moi. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, it almost makes me want to hand in my notice and get myself down to the job centre. <laughs> but I'm on a yeah. three-year contract. Yes, yeah, some of us have jobs. Well, you know, Susan, in the olden days, nobody had a job. <laughs> or everybody did. They went out and they ate cave food. That's a little bit ambiguous. Maybe we should find out a little bit more about history. Yes, let's. Let's take our trip out into the field with History Times. 
Hello and thank you for joining me Harriet Jenkins where today we're at Stanley Weybridge Stockington House. It's a beautiful day outside and the gardens are just beginning to show the first signs of spring. But today we're going to be staying inside and taking an in-depth look into the history of dust. Where does it come from? How is it made? And where does it settle? Apparently at the start of creation there was a big bang. We now know from recent history that a big explosion can, and most of the time does, cause dust. Particles from that big explosion spread all over the world and we believe them to be the original source of what we now, here in the 21st century, know as common house dust. We're here with Patricia Stonkington and she's going to show us through a collection of her dust samples. Now, Patricia, when did your love affair with dust first begin? Thank you, Harriet. Naturally, Stonkington Hall's been in my family for generations. And uh, I do remember as a, as a young child, rather funny story. I was walking around the, the Grand Library, um, perusing the Grand Selection of Public Literature. Uh, my great grandfather, the, uh, the uh, Admiral Humphrey, um, visited Stonkington and actually collected a lot of these books and his collection. So I was reaching for, must have been, say, I must have been about five or six years old. Well, young then. Perhaps younger, because mm. I remember, you know, I was maybe so high. Mm. So, and I, I reached up into the Grand Library and just find this book. And, uh, I pulled it down, the name of the book later now, I can't quite seem to remember. But um, I felt this, suddenly this tight swelling in the back of my throat, and uh, I started welling out of my eyes, and a few seconds later, you know, I thought, I'm going to I actually, uh, I like this. <laughs> so, uh, of course, that's when I first got curious about dust and, and what it did. That's excellent. Thank you for that uh, lovely story. Well, I'd really love to show you some of my dust samples, if you'd be happy to join me in the Grand Library. Excellent. Let's go. So, this is your drawing room, is it, Patricia? That's right. I I can show you where some of them were collected. But we'll be doing that next week, when we visit the Grand Ballroom. But for now, I hope you've learned a lot about dust and where it comes from, how it's made and where it settles. Susan, Susan. Well, that was very interesting. Yes, quite. Um, join us after the break for more interesting things. <laughs> More interesting things. Yes, uh, for more interesting things. No, no, Susan, join us for more interesting things. <laughs> yes, join us for more interesting things than that. Uh, after the break. Hi. You're watching Breaking News. Back to you. Jonathan Blake Edwards, the new album, with classics like Lend Me Your Towel. Lend me your towel. And Monkey Sex. Sex Monkey, got his rhythm down. And other such classics like Whatever His Name Is. What kind of name is Roger anyway? Jonathan Blake Edwards, the new album available at Tesco's for just 7 23 Every kid else. Have you had an accident or emergency at work that wasn't your fault? Gold. 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 We work on a no fee, no win basis. Gold diggers for you. Dig a little deeper. Gold! Puff, 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 puff. Puff, puff. It's a new fragrance with my name on it. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like hiding myself away. When you're on your menstrual cycle, do you sometimes feel like going out and getting wasted? Well, now you can. With new, period. Here's how it works. Using new fallopian technology and general science, we've managed to eradicate the problem of nasty rash, hot flush, runny poo, flaky skin, ringworm, sitting problem, and hemorrhoids. I'm on my third period and I'm ready to face the world. Don't wait up, Dad!
You're still watching Breaking News. Welcome back to Breaking News. Do you ever get Do angry? You ever get angry? <laughs> Do you sometimes feel as if the world would be a better place if you just effed and blinded at all the people you didn't like? Or that shaking your fist was the only way to solve a problem? Well then, our next speech is for you. Yes, let's join Dr Greg as he shows us how to manage our anger. <laughs> Dr. Greg has been managing anger for over 50 years and has a five year waiting list for his award winning classes. Hey, Dr. Greg, what do you want? <laughs> Listen to me. It's near too early to start not being angry. We followed Dr. Greg for one day to find out what makes him the leading anger management specialist yeah. in the world. You're late! It's got to be football, eh? Just packed in the park and stuff. You what? Sit down and shut up! Sorry, sir. Right, lesson one. Stop being angry! Using unorthodox methods, Dr. Greg will show his pupils that Get anger is not the Go. answer. For these new recruits, it's the first day of a grueling <laughs> regime. For three to twelve months, they will remain on the first rung of what Dr. Greg describes as the anger ladder. But his work isn't always easy. As well as facing the anger from his pupils, he also has to face regular anger from the media, human rights groups and the police. Eight hours later and Dr. Greg is still hard at work though he is not always appreciated. Allow this man, I'm not doing it no more, dickhead. You see what I'm dealing with? They're out of control. Oh. You see that? Out of control. That's why my work is so important around here. Yeah, fuck! Better than my mum, yeah? Better than my mum now. Sign up for Dr. Greg's anger management classes. What's this? Call us now on CC six seven eight four five one G B. Well, that brings us to the end of the show. Oh no! No, we've had such a lively show today. Yes, we've we had season? birthdays and beds and history anger. and anger, <laughs> all shades of emotion. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next week on Breaking News with, with me. Uh, with me, Amelia Crimble. And me, Susan. <laughs>